Are you wondering how to see the number of visitors to your WordPress site, know who's reading your content and buying your products? Well, in today's video, we'll show you the easiest way to check those numbers so you can begin implementing strategies to grow your site. Welcome to Monster Insights, a better way to see your Google Analytics data, allowing you to focus on creating content that will help you grow your website and build your business. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when we post the next video showing you how to use the number one Google Analytics plugin for WordPress. When you start a business, no doubt you've invested a certain amount of time, money, and expertise, and you've got a certain set of numbers in mind that are goals for your site. Now, knowing how many people are coming to your site, who they are, and what they do once they get there gives you insight so that you can start optimizing your WordPress site. Google Analytics is a great tool for getting all that information and more, but it can be very intimidating for beginners because it's so complex. Now, in order to maximize the benefits of Google Analytics, you'll need to have some coding knowledge or you'll need to hire an expert to do the job for you. Thankfully, Monster Insights simplifies the setup process and allows you to see important statistics without ever leaving your site. All you need to do to get started is install the plugin on your website. Now, the plugin is available both in free and paid plans, so you've got a choice and can use whichever you like. Just know that the Monster Insights Lite plugin has only basic features, so if you're wanting to take advantage of all the benefits and features and have access to our great support team, you'll need to have a paid plan. Now, if you want to use the free plugin, you can install it directly from the official WordPress plugin repository by typing Monster Insights in the search box and installing it as you would any other plugin. You can purchase a license at monsterinsights.com forward slash YTVIP, where we've created a special deal for our YouTube viewers. Now, once you've done that, you can download and install the plugin on your site and connect it to Google Analytics. Now, if you need a step-by-step -step guide on setting everything up correctly, just see the link in the description below that allow you to view both our video and written tutorial on how to add Google Analytics to WordPress using Monster Insights. Now, once you've installed the plugin and connected it to your Google Analytics account, you'll begin to gather information about your site's visitors. Keep in mind that Google may take a few hours to gather your site's information and data. Now, once that happens, you'll begin seeing the number of visitors on your site. Okay, so now let's look at the seven main Google Analytics reports that you can view to check the number of visitors on your site. To see an overview of your reports, you just need to log into your WordPress site, and then on the admin sidebar, hover your mouse over Insights. Then click on Reports. The overview report includes some of the key metrics that are useful for getting to know your website's visitors. The first section shows you a visual graph for the total number of sessions and page views that your site has received in a defined range of time. You can easily set the time range to 7 days, 30 days, or any days that you desire. Now, just below that graph, you'll see data showing the total number of sessions, page views, average session duration, and bounce rate. Then you'll see new versus returning visitors and device breakdown data in percentages in pie charts just below that. Now, as you keep scrolling down the page, you'll see the top 10 countries where your visitors are located. You can see where you get the most visits from and the actual number of visitors. If you want to see a detailed report, you can always just click the View Full Report button at the bottom of each report, which will redirect you to your Google Analytics account, where you can see even more details. Now, the last section of the Overview Report is Top Posts and Pages, where you can see the most popular posts and pages on your site and the total number of visits that they have received. Now, if you'd like to know how many visitors are on your site right now, you can see your real-time visitor statistics and their activity right in your dashboard. Now, to do that, just go to your admin sidebar, then hover your mouse over Insights, then click on Reports, then click on the Real-Time link at the top of the page. Now, with this report, you'll see the number of active users on your site at any given moment, their geographic location, the pages that they're viewing, and more. The Google Analytics real-time reports are useful to view and analyze the reports of your marketing campaigns, announcements, and lots more. Now, for more details, just see the link in the description below for our complete guide on Google Analytics real-time reports. Now, at the top of the page, next to the Overview Report tab, you'll see the Publishers tab. Now, in this tab, you'll see your top landing pages and top exit pages. Next, you'll see your top outbound links, top affiliate links, top download links, and interest categories. While this is great for seeing the number of visitors, the demographics data that displays visitors by age and gender is especially helpful in content planning. If you want to learn more about demographics and interest reports in WordPress, see the link in the description below. In the e-commerce report, you'll see data such as your conversion rates, the number of transactions, how much revenue that you've generated, and the average order value. 
And you'll see a list of your e-commerce shop's top products. That way you'll know which products to continue promoting. The Search Console report shows you the top 50 Google search terms your site's ranking for. So using this report, you can view which keywords are driving traffic to your site. This report helps you with your keyword research and SEO. Now, if you're new to Search Console, see the link in the description to read our step-by-step -step tutorial on how to configure and use Google Search Console. Next, you'll see Custom Dimensions. The Custom Dimensions report lets you track custom data like your most popular authors, post types, categories, your most popular tags, and best SEO score, and more. You can use these metrics to give you insight about what users are finding most interesting on your site. Then you can analyze these reports to create a more informed business strategy. If you want to learn more about this, just see the link in the description below for our helpful guide on using custom dimensions. All right, now we're at the last one. Let's look at how you can view reports about your forms. Contact forms are one of the main ways that visitors interact with your site. By tracking forms, you can see how many visitors view and submit their forms. In order to track forms, you'll just need to install the Monster Insights form add-on that's available in the paid versions of the plugin. Monster Insights supports all the major contact form plugins and provides you with a comprehensive report for your form conversions. Now check out the special offer for our YouTube viewers and join over 2 million professionals using Monster Insights to grow their business with confidence. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when we post the next video. In the meantime, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more free tips, tricks, and tutorials for using Monster Insights in WordPress.